Hello, my name is Matt and I work for Mock Motion. As a potential customer of Mock Motion, you may want to know what to expect when you do business or purchase a product from Mock Motion. So in this video, I'm going to attempt to show you exactly what you can count on when you do business with us. Mock Motion is a company based in Missouri and was founded on basic core values. Our number one core value is to have integrity in everything that we do. It is our goal for our integrity to be evident from the first time a potential customer calls us to the day they first use our products and beyond. This control system could be configured with machine-specific software and hardware for milling machines, lays, CNC routers, plasma and oxyfuel tables, water jets, ODID surface grinders, and custom automated machines. When ordering products for Mock Motion, this is how you can expect to receive them. Every product that we sell will be expertly packaged and is fully tested before it leaves our facility. Begin your installation by unpacking all components. Please remove the manuals and study them fully. Here is an example of an electrical enclosure as it would ship from our facility. You can open the enclosure and get an idea of what kind of components that we sell. This is our Apollo 3 motion controller. The rest of the components include contactor, 24 volt power supply, wiring bus, main door switch, fuses, relays, and in this case there is a variable frequency drive. The variable frequency drive can be used for controlling the spindle RPM on different machines and also our servo drives, in this case they're Tico servo drives. The next step will be to wire in the servo motors and spindle motor. We'll start by taking the servo motor cables out of the bag and routing them to the electrical enclosure. Once your servo motor has been connected, you will want to connect the cables at the drive. As you can see, Mock Motion has prepared your cables for a plug and play application. Everything is clearly labeled and ready for installation. When purchasing a Mock Motion control system, one of our options is the electrical cabinet. In this case, this is a pre-wired electrical cabinet that came from us. This is an option. You do not have to do this with your control system. But if you reuse your electrical cabinet on your machine, you'll want it to look something similar to this. Let's assume this is your spindle motor and now we need to connect it to the variable frequency drive in the electrical cabinet. Open the electrical cabinet and remove the cover from the variable frequency drive. In this case we have a three phase motor, so we need to know L1, L2, and L3 and ground. The next step will be to unpack all the mounting components for the control head. Please find your instruction manual and thoroughly read all instructions before completing the installation. Here is our X15200 control mounting hardware kit. After mounting the control arm, I would then begin by mounting the control head. 
Take out the two smaller Allen button head cap screws to mount the keyboard tray. For this control, the mounting arm kit includes the machine bracket, the arm extension, and the control head bracket. At this time, we will route the Axi control cables, the motion control cables, into the electrical cabinet, and we will connect the 110 volt power. Now we will connect the cables to the motion controller. Begin by removing the cover to the Apollo 3 motion controller. The Ethernet connector connectors are individually labeled Ethernet 1, MPG1, and Ethernet number 2. They are also labeled on the motion controller. As you can see, we now have the Apollo 3 motion controller fully connected. The next step is to connect the 110 volt power supply for the control unit. The next step will be to wire in the 230 volt power for the electrical cabinet. The next step will be to close the electrical cabinet and turn the power on. The next step will be to power on the control head. The power button is located on the side of the control. Next, we will click on the mill icon on the control screen. Now that the control screen has loaded, press the reset. Once the drives are enabled, you should home the machine. As you can see, your axes have all been homed. Now we should have motion on our axes. Next, we'll click on the conversational programming. With this conversational programming, you'll want to begin by selecting your material. In this case, we'll choose aluminum. Now we're going to select the circular hole pattern. All of our parameters have been entered, but as you can see, you would select your tool, number of holes, speeds and feeds, etc. Select your number of holes, work depth, rapid height, traverse height, etc. Post the code, exit the conversational program. As you can see, we have the toolpath loaded on the screen. Now we're going to go to the toolpath screen. And we'll rotate the toolpath. Now we'll run the code by pressing cycle start. In this case, it calls for a tool change. We'll change the tool and press cycle start. As you can see, we can control the spindle RPM from the control head. Now I'd like to talk about some of the features of the X15-200 control. As you can see, it has a large 20-inch screen where you can easily view a real-time live toolpath. Conversational programming via our Wizards package. Standard G-code programming also, including MDI and G-code input via USB. Transferring toolpath files are easy now using standard Wi-Fi networking card or external USB port. Standard keyboard and mouse. Operator panel, including the cycle start and cycle stop and the emergency stop button. Easy to use Windows style navigation. This control will operate up to six axis standard. 255 work fixture offsets are included at no extra charge. Tool cutter comp including G40, G41, and G42 are no problem. All components come with a one year warranty standard. 
One feature that a lot of our customers really appreciate is the ability to transfer files with a USB stick. In this case, the USB port is right on the side of the keypad. Now I'd like to tell you about a couple options for the X15-200 control. One option we have available is our industrial operator panel, which includes jog buttons, axis selector switch, continuous jog or step jog switch, feed rate override switch, cycle start, cycle stop, and emergency stop switches. Also available as an option with the standard operator panel is the pendant, the handheld pendant. The handheld pendant has an MPG, axis selector, and increment selector switches. All Mop Motion products are shipped from our facility pre-tested and configured for your application. Much of the basic setup has already been done when you receive a control system from Mock Motion. Typically, all that remains for you, the customer, to do is finalize the setup of your control system. Normally, to complete the setup, you will need to define your axis directions, positive or negative, calculate your steps per revolution, set up limit switches, etc. Our support team assists all Mock Motion customers through this setup process via telephone. With internet access to the control unit, we can log into our control real time and walk you through this process, step by step. Mock Motion supports everything we sell 100% at no cost to our customers. Let's talk about the five main reasons that our customers choose to purchase from Mock Motion. One of the top reasons is that we are a USA based company. We sell, support, and service all of our products right here from Missouri. Probably one of the highest reasons is our free lifetime support. We do not charge our customers for support after the sale. When they call us, we help them, period. Our control systems provide a low cost, low long term maintenance control solution. All of Mock Motion products are designed around anti proprietary open architecture solutions. We can interface to many different products, including Yaskawa, Mitsubishi, Tico, etc. All of Mock Motion products are easy to install and operate. That concludes our control system overview. Please feel free to contact us or visit our facility for a hands-on demonstration of our equipment. Please feel free to contact us or visit our facility for a tour or hands-on demonstration of our control systems. Let us tailor a control system solution to fit your needs. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to visit mockmotion.com for more videos.